Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to be talking about um, email triage, which is actually just about how to prioritize which emails you're going to process and when, um, and to keep your inbox um, free of junk, shall we say. Um, so what I want you to do first is set a timer for 20 minutes, and then you go to your inbox and you look at the list of emails. Um, I always sort mine, so there's the list with just, you know, the, the subject line and who it's from. And I use that column to begin the processing. And what I do first is I just go through and I delete anything I know I don't need that day. So often it's coupons, newsletters from companies that I do do business with, but don't need their information right now. Um, notifications from various social media that have failed to turn off or, or got turned on just for information purposes. Um, but just delete as many as you can. Then I kind of do it simultaneously. I also mark all the junk. And by that, I mean anything I know right off the bat is junk. And then I may check a couple of frums to see if it's the right people that are processing. Um, or sending me things because often you can tell if it's actual junk because the address won't match the company you're actually doing business with. So this comes down to a lot of um, business to business offers that I didn't sign up for or haven't done business with before. There's lots of actual scammy stuff that can come through um, or any um, notifications of places that you've already unsubscribed and they're continuing to send you information. So I just do that quick kind of two steps in one, get rid of the junk and um, the, the no, I can delete because I don't have to do anything with that information. The junk mail, if you will. Um, next, I go through the list again with, and I pull anything that I know um is, is something I want to check out or need to do something with. And I pull it into the folders that we talked about setting up earlier. So all the bills that need to be paid or notices of money coming in or going out, get put in my bills to pay folder. Anything I want to read. So the newsletters of people I do want to keep up to date with, I pull into the to read. Um, occasionally there's something from a friend or whatever that I want to read, but not necessarily right now during business hours. Um, so pull anything, you know, if it's a client thing, if it's something from an assistant or a coworker, pull it into the right project or place that you've decided to keep that. Now you should have a fairly clean inbox. There should be just a few things you need to double check to see what they're all about because you didn't recognize them. Um, and you can do that as, as that next step. In the next bit of information I pull is any notes um, that I know need to just get entered into my calendar or my address book or, you know, those quick updates on things you need to just note that information somewhere. And then I archive it. Um, and that way you end up with no new emails in there, right? So we're not talking inbox zero. We're just talking about things that came in overnight. And then later when you're processing your bills and correspondence, you go to your bills and correspondence in the email and you deal with those things. When you have some time set aside for reading, you go to your to read folder. It's the same. You, you connect a block of time to the kind of processing that you need to do as the next steps. But aside from that, once you've done that triage, once you've done the prioritization and put the things in the right spots, you might still have 10, 15 minutes left in your 20 minute block, maybe even a little bit more as you get better at this. That's when you start actually answering any quick emails that just need a quick response. Things that are a yes or no, or a clarification from a coworker or a family member, um, double checking dates and, and confirming appointments, that kind of thing. Just do as many of those as you can do in the time left. And when the timer goes off, stop. You can do this again later in the day. Um, I usually do it kind of first thing in the morning just to make sure there's nothing urgent. And then I, but I don't do very much processing, just the 20 minutes. And then later in the day, I will do the actual processing and answering of the things that require more. 
And at the very end of the day, I just do a quick double check just before I sign off the computer to make sure there's nothing that needs to be responded to by the end of the day. And then I do it again tomorrow. If you have time at the end of your 20 minutes, you can continue processing some of the older emails that you have so that you can slowly but surely make a dent in those old emails. Or you can schedule a couple blocks of time to do a whole lot of them um, until you catch all the way up. But it's important to know what you're answering, when and why, and it'll help keep you up to date with what businesses you do business with and what things you're ready to let go of because they're no longer relevant. Instead of just letting them pile up in the inbox where they're in your way and kind of yelling at you from the back of your head saying, hey, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. You should do this. We want to get all the shoulds out of our inbox. So let's get on top of it, shall we? All right. Um, I will see you next week. And in the meantime, please subscribe, follow, tell your friends, um, and I will see you next week. Have a delightful day.